Here are solutions to test number one for ECE 376 Embedded Systems. Now the first problem is to design a Schmidt trigger. What I want is the output to turn on when R is bigger than seven or less than 700 ohms and off when it's bigger than 800 ohms. So in terms of the voltage, I want something like this. It turns off at 800 ohms turns on at 700. Well, the first step is you have to choose R1. That's based upon your birth date. If you choose or assume 14, 14 ohms, then V1 is going to vary from 1.86 to 1.65 volts. So this is 1.86 volts and 1.65 volts. And note, when the voltage is large, the output is low, so connect to the minus input. The output turns on at 1.65 volts, so there's your offset, and the gain is the slope. Output changes by 5 volts as the input changes by this di difference, gain of 33. So pick the res resistors to be 33 to 1. Problem 2. Design a transistor amplifier. So this is using a transistor as a switch. I want to turn on and off an LED. In this case, I want the current to be your birth date. For me, that's 14, 14 milliamps. Find RC and RB, and also how bright it is. In terms of brightness, the brightness is proportional. The data sheets, the specs, say it's 10,000 lumens at 3,000 milliamps. So 14, 14 milliamps is that percentage of full brightness, 47, 13 lumens. That's actually lumens. To find RC, I've got 50 volts here. The LED drops 38 volts across it. The transistor drops 0.36 volts across it. So the remaining voltage is across RC. That much voltage at 14, 14 milliamps is 8.23 ohms. To find RB, Take this current, divide it by beta, divide it by 200, you get 7 milliamps. So pick something bigger than 7, less than 25, because all I pick and do is 25 milliamps. I chose 10 milliamps. And this is 5 volts, this is 0.7. Again, this is a diode, voltage drop across the silicon diode is 0.7. 4.3 volts at 10 milliamps is 430 ohms. Problem 3. Uh, this is what happens after the each assembler command. The first one is take W, add it to port C, put the result in port C. So 5 plus 15 is 20, port C becomes 20. Second command, subtract W from port B, put the result in W. So 14 take away 9, 14 take away 5 is 9, put the result in W. Decrement port B, put the result in port B. So 14 goes to 13. Increment port C, put the result in W. So 20 goes to 21. Toggle bit 0 of port B. 13 becomes 12. You can take the bit pattern, 13 is 1101. Take the least significant bit, make that 1100 for 12. Inclusive or, W with 12. 21 or 12 is 29. To see that, you have to take the bit pattern. 21 is 16 plus 4 plus 1. There's 21. 12 is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Or them together, I get 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, which is 29 binary. Now take the result and add it with 9. Uh, 9 is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Uh, clear out all the bits except for these two, pass them through, and the result is 1001, or 9. Or of the 7, 7 is 111. If either bit's 1, the answer is 1, so the answer is 11111, 15. Negate port B, let's take the 2's complement of port B, put the result in ports B. So 12 becomes minus 12, which is the same thing as plus 244. You can always add or Subtract 256 and get the same answer. Complement port C. Let's take the bit pattern and flip the bits. 
So 20 is 16 and 4. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. There's 20. Flip all the bits. That corresponds to minus 21 or 235. Problem number four is timing. How long does this routine take? Assuming that B is your birth month, for me that'd be five. Uh, day is your birth date, 14. To count clocks, you count instructions, plus one for go to. So the blue section code has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus one. That takes eight clocks to execute. That's called 14 times five times 200 times. The red code is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 plus 1 is 9, called 5 and 200 times. Green section, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 1, 8, called 200 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 6. Multiply it out, add them all up. 121,606 clocks. Now to get that to be 22 million, what I would do is let's make everything 255. Solve for A, and we'll get uh, I think 43.1, something like that. Round down, or 42.8, round up. We'd make A a little bit too big. One of these numbers needs to get smaller. So given A and B, now solve for C. If I do that, I get 22,018,000 uh, within the tolerance. So that's one solution. There's many others. And the last one is assembler programming. Convert each block of code into a corresponding assembler. The first part, to initialize inputs and outputs, that's the trace re registers. One means input, zero means output. This is a label right here. Clear port C, clear port D. I can do that one instruction in assembly. And I want to do an 8-bit test. Is port B, the 8 bits of port B, greater than 0? So in this case, I need to do the compare, skip if greater than, first move W, 0 to W, compare port B to W, skip if greater than. If port B is greater than 0, I skip. Um, and if I skip, I want to go back to L2, otherwise go to label 3. Uh, this section of code. Um, I want to check if port B is equal to 0. Move 0 to W, compare skip if equal. If it's equal, I keep on looping. Otherwise, go to loop label 4. Label 4 is the bit test. You know, these are bytes. Checking 8 bits, this is a bit test. Checking a single bit. A single bit was it would be a bit test. Skip if clear. If it's set, I don't skip, and I increment port C. I'll then check is port B pin 1 equal to 1. Bit test, skip if set. If it's clear, I don't skip. I'll go back to label 2. Otherwise, you get down here. Check if port C is equal to 5. Move 5 to W. Compare, skip if equal. If it is equal, I skip. Otherwise, go back to label 1. If I skip, I turn on all the lights on port D. Wait 2.2 seconds. That's the previous code that we wrote. And then go back to label one. So that is test number one for ECE 376.